Alright, so a viewer by the name it by the name of was it to two one four seven uh, asked about a video of mine, a very old video, the twelve volt forty milliamp flyback fun video I made ages ago, and he just wanted a quick schematic. Um, so this is it. It took me a, a little bit to figure out from the video what was happening, but also if you go see my six volt ten milliamp video which is right after that one I go through the layout a bit more it's basically the same one it's just using 6 volts rather than um, a 12 volt battery um, and this is basically it so you've got two 2N3055 transistors these are just power transistors and they've got their collector connected together like you see there and I had in the video physically just connected via uh, some nuts, I believe. And I had the base connected to the emitter on this side. The base there connected to the small fluoro that you see. And that was connected via ground, via the mains. So I show a wire coming from the mains and it's connected to the fluoro. It's going through the fluoro into the base. I've got positive going through my ammeter and to the collector. So that would then go to both collectors. And then I have um, the emitter going to the positive of the um, ignition coil. And then the negative of the ignition coil going to the negative of the battery. The flyback part, which comes from the coil, was going to the big fluoro. And the big fluoro was be making contact, physical contact, with the copper pipe. You can see in the video when I take the disconnect the fluoro, it only lights a small portion just above there. But if I contacted it to the copper pipe, which was acting as a virtual ground, and you see that explained in this video as well, uh, the fluoro then fully lights up. Now this part is not connected to ground or anything like that, it's just sitting on the carpet with the fluoro being attached to the metal prongs that you get on fluoros and same with the flyback part that was attached to the fluoro there so yeah that's basically the entire circuit now here's the original coil that I used there is one important thing so hopefully you keep you are still watching the important thing about these is you need to get the one that does not have the internal resistor it needs to not have the internal resistor. Many of these, and these are old um, transformers, they had the resistor built inside. Some of them will have the resistor on the outside, which you can then take off. I believe that's what I did with this one. But it cannot have the resistor inside. Otherwise, this will not work. The resistor is there to basically get rid of all the transients. And what we're doing is obviously playing with the transients, and we want the transients. And that's what's lighting these fluoros up. That's what's giving us all these effects. It's all the random weird transients that we have been looking for. And that's what we are experimenting with. That's what we charge batteries with. That's what we want to play around with. So if you want to replicate this, you need to get one of these transformers. They're called ignition coils. They're for old cars. This is where the high voltage end comes out of. You usually put a spark plug plug on here and that goes into the spark plugs. I just put a wire on here. Some people put a copper pipe down there, whatever it has. Not sure if you can see a screw down there that you can screw down on. And that's basically what I did all those years ago. And then that's what this wire here is. That's that little loop. And then I had connected with the um, jumper cables there so that was it that was that was all there was to it a very simple little circuit oh the other thing was this wasn't self-starting so in the 6 volt version you can see I have a resistor to, uh, to keep to start it for me but uh, when I first started playing around with it I think you had to short with your fingers between the emitter and the base between ground just to get it going um, and then later on you just put the resistor now disclaimer this wasn't my circuit this is a circuit that I found ages ago when I was when we were all playing around with these 
uh, people like Lit Motor and Laser Saber and other people we used to all watch each other's videos and play around and mess around with these things so you may be able to find this circuit um, somewhere else now there is a common circuit used sometimes too uh, with obviously some additions to actually drive these in cars and for other applications but yeah this was very basic and very easy all right hopefully that helps and here I'll just point out a couple of uh, schematics that are very similar and these are actually used to drive the coils so this is one you can see the two transistors and this is another now obviously mine didn't use the SCR or anything like that but you you might get a better idea of what's happening with these two schematics <laughs>